Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I'm back to share with you uh, the tutorial on how I made this cute little uh, gift box and a uh, match booklet to hold a gift card. If you would like to make one of these uh, to hold a gift card or as a, an ephemera holder, um, there are heaps of tutorials out there on how to make these match booklets, but I thought I'd share you uh, share with you my measurements as um, as I go along as well to show you how I made this cute little box. And I did place one of these cute little uh, pair of mittens for my uh, granddaughter. That is, uh, she'll be due in October, so I'm really excited. And um, so I just thought I'd make a little gift to give to Tiana for her baby as just a little starter gift i've got more gifts coming for her but i thought this was a perfect little box to fit this in and this is a perfect size for atc cards uh ephemera pieces uh you know your, your three dimensional embellishments great little box as a gift uh to gift uh some goodies in here as well so i want to show you the measurements for this and for the match booklet i'll also put down below my uh, design team project share for carrie ann where i share with you a few other projects using the kit which is this one here and it's the uh, vintage spring fair digital kit it's available now at carrie ann's etsy store and i'll link that down below for you uh, if you're interested in purchasing the kit with all of the gorgeous images uh, that come in that kit so i'm going to use one of the digitals that's in that kit uh, i'm using an a4 size uh, uh, a4 size for my kits because here in australia we have a4 if you're in the us or anywhere else you probably be using an, uh, a letter size i'm not too sure with the letter size um, paper background sheet once you've cut out the white part um, so I'm going to use the measurements to make the box using the A4 size paper. So if your uh, letter size is a little bit smaller and won't give you the same measurements, you can still make the box just using uh, your plain cardstock paper or any other paper that will give you that measurement. And then all you do is you can layer the box with the background papers from the kit to decorate the box as well. So you'll still be able to do that. But um, this is the A4 size once I've cut out the white border that's around and we're going to make a couple of cuts. So I'm going to use the same paper to make these two so you can make a coordinating set with just the one piece of the A4 size uh, background paper. I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer. So what we'll do is we'll make the... We'll make the box first and then we'll make the match booklet so we, to make the box we're going to cut your paper um, long ways so this is a directional paper so then you'll be able to follow along with my paper if you're using a directional paper so i'm just going to cut this at four inches oops i just bring that down so you can see so it's at four inches then i'm going to turn it around and cut it at nine and a half inches. I'm just going to have a look at it. Okay, so it was four inches by nine and a half inches. And then for this piece here, this will be the match booklet for your gift card. And you're going to cut that at three inches. all the way down and then we'll, we'll turn it around and we're going to cut it at eight and a half inches so this one here um, for the match booklet it's cut at three inches by eight and a half inches so we're going to make the uh, cute little box first so I'm just gonna grab my scoreboard So let me just. So this is um, the directional paper. We're going to turn the paper uh, with the direction facing down towards the right side, and we're going to line. Actually, what we'll do, we'll do this side first to make it easy. Let's. 
score uh, on the four inch side we're going to score in both sides at half an inch so along the four inch side we're going to go half an inch all the way down and i'm just going to turn it around this way to make it easy and then half an inch again on the other side and then we'll turn the paper along the nine and a half inch side with your pattern paper facing to the right if it's a non-directional paper it doesn't matter uh, so now we've got that on the nine and a half inch and your patterns facing that way we are going to score at half an inch one inch five inches and five and a half inches so that's all the scoring half an inch one inch five inches five and a half inches And now we're going to grab my scissors. And then what we're going to do here, I'm just going to bring this. We are going to cut up to the top there on both sides. So just cut along there. And I'm going to, oh sorry, do the same on this side. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're going to remove these two little squares. We don't need those. That one. It's very easy to make this box. So that part's done. And then these two pieces here, we're just, just going to cut along to there and along there and the same to that side. So I'll turn it this way. I'm just going to cut there and cut there. Turn it around the other side and do the same. Cut up to the score line. So we have that now. And let's just fold everything over just to make things easy when we assemble the box. So just fold those score lines. And then the sides. little piece and then we've just got a couple of other little things to do this is if you want to do this or if you have the uh, circle punch and the corner around the punch I didn't get all my stuff together uh, I'll just grab I'll just grab this one I'll misplace my smaller uh, circle punch so I'm just going to show down here on the, the uh, straight edge on this side. You can uh, punch out a thumb notch if you like. That just helps you with the uh, opening. So I'm just going to do that. So that part's done. And then up here we are just going to fold these in. And I'm going to corner around these two corners. And that is the part where is the closure. If you don't have a corner around a punch, you can just leave it. So I'm just going to corner around that side and that side. And if you close these over, it's easy, it'll be easy for you to create your circle, uh, your corner around, the, uh, around your corners. So now we've done that, what we're going to do now, we are going to apply glue to these two little side notches. Or um, whatever glue you like. I'm just waiting for my glue to come out. I didn't fill up my bottle, so it's going to take a little longer for it to come out. Um, so while you're waiting, you can go ahead and glue yours. Here comes my glue now. So just put a little bit there and a little bit here. And then what we're going to do, these two pieces are going to get glued here. So we're going to bring it up. It's a little bit, um, it's not tricky, but it's just, just trying to get it on there. So get that glued on there. And then this side. So you should be able to get that glued in. And then we have these two sides. We're going to apply glue to this side and this side. And 
once you've got your glue on there we're going to bring it up so we bring it up and then just wrap that around the side and then just glue that in and then you can see that it's now looking like a cute little box and then you've got these two little uh, side notches and that just folds down and that just creates that little flap and then fold these in and you've got yourself a cute little box and there is um, how it looks like it's all done and then you can add your goodies in there you can embellish it and decorate it so if with your uh, letter size if the measurements you don't get those measurements just use a plain cardstock to create your box then use your um, background paper prints from the kit and then you can uh, you know do all the sides and around it and decorate it that way so that is your box complete so we'll do the gift card holder or the ephemera holder for your ephemera pieces we're going to just do a little bit of scoring this is also um, just a couple of score lines very easy I'm just going to check on my direction of the paper so I want it so that so this will be the top so that's going to go that way and that's going to go like that so just have a look at your pattern paper so you want it to sort of be like that so I'm going to open this up we're going to go and do the same way having the direction paper going to the right we are going to score at one and a quarter inches. Just double check. Uh, where was I? Yeah, sorry. So it's one and a quarter inches and five and a quarter of an inch. And that is it. Got a score ring for that. And what we're going to do now we're just going to fold this over and then fold this down and there you have a match booklet holder and all I'm going to do here you can glue down these sides but if you're going to glue it down just glue it down halfway not all the way to the top I'm just going to use a stapler I'm going to use the um, Mahati swap tiny attacher so on the bottom part I'm just going to go down here and go as close as you can to the edge and I'm just going to go down about there so I've done that and then just the same on this side and that will give you your pocket and then you've got that part here where it's sort of um, not sealed that just helps slide that inside and there you have your uh, little gift card holder which will fit perfectly in there and it'll also fit a tea bag I think it'll also fit a tea bag in here let me just have a look I wonder if that'll oh it does too it even fits a little tea bag sachet so this measurement will be perfect to fit a tea bag sachet as well and then you just decorate it and then you can cover I tend to normally cover the back here with some washi tape just for a, a safety just for safety reasons um, I put some washi tape here or another strip of uh, some scrap papers and there you have um, your little match booklet for your gift card holder now uh, you've also got a coordinating gift box to go with that using the uh, kit by Kiri Ann. and um, again I'll link everything down below and this one here is the vintage uh, spring fair digital kit so I hope you uh, enjoyed this really easy tutorial and I'll see you all soon bye for now